Hi, folks. <laughs> Recently, there was a gymnast competition, an international gymnast competition. And a 17-year-old from Japan, Kinzo Shoe, he performed the maneuver as some sort of a triple twist with an unusual name that was never done before. So in appreciation or an honor for being the first one to perform this maneuver, they named it after him. That's what they did. They named it right after him. So Shuri, Kimzo Shuri. Well, later on that day, a gymnast from South Korea at the same venue performs the same exact maneuver. So due to political correctness, they then named it after both of them. Shuri Kim. Shuri Kim. That's what they named it. So the first person to perform it, they gave him the honor of uh, naming it after him. The second guy comes along because he's from a different country. We'll name it after both of them. What about the third guy? The fourth guy? Why did you stop at the second guy? Why did you even go to the second guy? In Colorado, in these United States of America, there's a tall mountain, a peak, and it's called Pike's Peak because I think it was a colonel. Pike was supposedly the one who climbed that mountain. Now the second guy who climbed that mountain, let's say his name is Smith. How come they don't call it? <laughs> How come they don't call it Pike Smith's Peak? No, just Pike, because he was the first one. The Hudson Bay in Canada, discovered by Henry Hudson. The second guy that went in it after Henry Hudson, they call it the Hudson Bay, right? How come they don't call it the Hudson Bay? or the Hudson Smith Bay after the possibly the second guy. Why is it only this gymnast from Japan is being deprived of the honor for being the first guy? Political correctness. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And to my friends in Japan who count the number of times I say, yeah, there was none of that in this video. <laughs> yeah.